Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna be talking to you about what you should be doing with your money and investing. I really want to put this video out there because of what's going on with the pandemic. I have done a video about things you should be doing at this time before, but I didn't expect it really to be going on this long, even though I did say don't expect it to be over soon, it's still going on. I hope the video on emergency funds and how to save during this time is helpful to you. But in this video, I'm going to be telling you what you should be doing with your money, what you could be doing to invest. I mean, I'm just going a bit overboard with it, really. But I feel like there's so much uncertainty and anything I know that I can help you with, I will tell you. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please do not forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe as always. I genuinely appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you. I do truly hope that you're all financially OK and you're keeping safe. As I said previously in the other video, that... You should not presume that this is going to be over next month or even in a few months. You should act as though this is going to be our future, which I hope to God it isn't. But the reason I say that is because you shouldn't be wasting your money on things that do not mean anything. The summer just went, but really, where did we go? You know what I mean? We probably have summer outfits. And I'm not going to lie to you, I have been buying things and I've realised that the majority of my money goes to clothes. And if we just didn't buy loads of clothes, you probably have way more money. And I just want to say as well, in this video, I'm not here to scare you or anything like that or give you fear. Um, the whole point of it is so you have peace of mind, so you feel like you're doing something and you will feel far better than if you didn't do anything at all. So my first point would be to avoid any financial decisions based on fear. Like say if you're like, oh, I want to put my money in here because I feel like this is going to happen. Like don't do anything out of emotion. Do it out of logic and think about things properly and like ahead of time especially if you run your own business you need to really think strategically about what plans you're going to make don't do it based on fear based on the media what they're telling you or anything like that you judge the decision for yourself maybe in the process of making your decision don't watch any news because i've realized when i watch the news and stuff i so i'm so fearful and my anxiety is up so i would recommend that if you are like quite worried and you're trying to make decisions based on how you're feeling at the moment so the first practical thing i would do is review your budget you could even create an excel sheet and put your income and your outgoings so you can see what you're spending your money on if there's anything you can cut back on budget on is there something that you keep buying that you don't really need i know i've cancelled my apple music because i don't even listen to my apple music anymore um what else have i cancelled i did cancel my gym but i've gone back now um, I'm even thinking of cancelling my Netflix because I spend so much time watching telly and I don't really want to do that. Like, think of things that you're spending your money on. They could be little things, but they all add up, believe me. And if you're buying loads of clothes or you're buying too much food, you're going to restaurants, if you're getting loads of takeaways, try and eliminate that and save that money and put it in your emergency fund or whatever sort of pot you want. So I have pots on my Monzo card where I'm saving for certain things. Also a savings account, which is my emergency fund. So whatever it is that you have planned, I would take any savings that you have made that month, I'd put it in there. Little bit by little bit, your money will build up. If you say, oh, it's only 20 pounds seven times a month, that's 140 pounds. So really be mindful of what you're spending your money on. Another thing you should do, which I have been doing recently, is take 30 minutes a day to think about your future, what you want from the future, without any fear, without any limitations you wanna give yourself. Think about what it is you truly want. And if you do this 30 minutes a day, it becomes more of what you truly want because sometimes you can just sit there and think, oh, I want that. Yeah, that's what I want. Whereas if you sit and think about it 30 minutes a day, one, you're visualizing, which is so powerful. Two, what you think about, you bring about, what you believe is gonna happen, happens faster. You will then go into details of all the things you want and you'll realize really do you want this because you'll be thinking about it so much. And yeah, you may really want this and it's so powerful thinking about what you want, especially if you do it just before bed. And if not, any time of the day, but the fact you're doing that is so powerful. Another thing which I briefly touched on in the beginning is set up savings account. You can start a pot and put things that you're saving for, say if you're saving for Christmas, because that's coming up. And if you save a certain amount of money every month, 
then when it comes to Christmas, you don't have that struggle. Especially if you've got children. If you just got your partner, you may agree to not spend much on each other this year. But you can have little pots for certain things or maybe like your date night pot or your emergency fund, as I said in the past. And another thing I would say as well is I have a 0% interest credit card. I don't know if anyone else has. If you do have a credit card and you are paying an amount every month, I would suggest going to a 0% interest credit card. And what I'm doing is I'm saving money in my savings account for the credit card but the reason I'm not putting it in the credit card to pay it all off is because you never know what's going to happen between now and that point and if the worst case scenario comes I can always just transfer that money onto another 0% interest credit card so the reason I have it in my bank and accessible is because then I won't have to ever get a loan out I won't have to go in my overdraft if I ever need money and I like to have money on hand in case I need it Whereas if I just give it away to the credit card, I won't be able to get that money back. That's personally what I'm doing anyway. You don't have to do that. We hope things are going to get better. But if they don't get better and I need money, I have that money there. And credit cards, yeah, I can pay it off every month. It's not the end of the world. If I do need money for whatever reason, I can then take another 24 months to pay it off. It won't be any hindrance to me at all. When it comes to money, I always think ahead and I try and be sensible. Also, another thing I would suggest but it depends on the sort of person you are because it's not something that everyone would want to do is have an amount of cash in a safe in your house they may make a rule that you can only take out a certain amount of money in your bank or you never know honestly the world never fails to shock me obviously don't tell people that you're doing that if you put it in a book burglars aren't going to be looking in books <laughs> Just find a fake book on Amazon or something and put it in there. Or you can put it in a toy. There's so many weird safes you can get now. They don't have to be normal safes. Um, but I would recommend putting your money, even if it's a couple of hundred pounds. I'm not saying there's going to be an apocalypse because I don't believe that. But as I said, if they start limiting the amount of money we can take out of banks, then we're going to be quite screwed because I know I pay everything on card. I don't pay anything in cash. I never have cash. I don't even have a pound in my flat. So yeah, it's not for everyone, but it's something you could think of doing. Even if it's 10% of your salary, like if it eases your mind, why not do it? The next thing is think about investing your money. So instead of maybe putting it in your savings account, you can invest it in somewhere where you could actually quadruple your money perhaps. But I would suggest a lot of research to do this. You need to be in the know of what's going on financially. For example, read this Financial Times. It's something I read every day. I have to for my job. It's very unbiased. Whereas like Daily Mail, like The Sun, whatever other newspapers there are, they're not factually correct. And also they have a narrative that they're going along. Whereas the Financial Times is usually based on facts. They're like financial experts. There's also subliminal indicators too. It's a really interesting thing to do in your spare time, especially now we're at home more. So if you think about what may decline, what may increase, so that gives you an idea of what to invest your money into. I could do a whole video on this if you would wish me to but investing your money into things is something i would do especially now because there are going to be certain sectors which would have massively declined but believe me it will go up again and if you're patient and you put your money in you could wait a few years and your money could like skyrocket i would pick a sector that you're interested in and then go with that and be very knowledgeable on it but as I say, I can do a whole video on that. Another thing I would say as well during this time is if you are working from home and you're working for a company, I would think about more ways to expand your job. As in, um, even myself, I'm thinking about advertising for what I do. Obviously, I don't normally advertise online. I just get emails sent in to me for inquiries. But I could let people know our services because everyone's online now. So... Think about how to make your employer a bit more happier, show that you're using your initiative um, and that will also make you feel more comfortable in your job because sometimes I know we're at home and we're not sort of used to this life and you probably feel like you're not doing much even though you probably do as much as you do if not more in the office but I know myself I feel like I'm getting paid the same wage for being inside and I feel so blessed and privileged but sometimes I'm like I need to be doing more. Um, so if there's anything extra you can do in your job just for your peace of mind and well-being and trust me it will make you feel so much better 
and when you feel good and when you feel like money is coming in more money will come in i promise you the economy has changed rapidly in 2020 there's going to be a lot of change economically and i know people are like well it doesn't affect me because i haven't lost my job they're predicting four million people are going to be unemployed from this again i don't want to scare you but i know you may not think this will affect you but everything has an effect so try and be mindful of that appreciate what you've got if you're still working and save that money just be so blessed that you have your job and try and make the most of it by saving your money putting it in good places let money work for you take advantage in a way of this situation don't be down about it see it as an opportunity to get your finances right and invest in things you wouldn't even have time to look up these things if we're in a normal world where we're going out every day after work and on the weekend so really take advantage of this time in a positive way i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe as always i genuinely appreciate all of you so much um and i will see you in my next video